It's early in the 2013-14 season, and new BU hockey coach David Quinn is trying to find out just what kind of team he has. A week two matchup against number three ranked Wisconsin figured to be a good measuring stick for the Terriers. Lane, trying to buzz to help out. Lane has possession, they draw a penalty goal, and the Terriers three goal lead has been restored with 8.56 left. A convincing defeat of a top-ranked team is one way to see where the team is at. A long road trip is another. Coach Quinn, his staff, and their young team are off to Michigan for weekend games against the University of Michigan and Michigan State. such a, a good team is the rank highly in the polls. It's also such a great atmosphere here. Um, it's going to be exciting. Everyone knows that Michigan is home to the big house in football. Well, for hockey, it's the Yost Arena. It's one of the toughest places to play in the country. And for the freshmen on the BU team, a whole new experience. Great opportunity here, right? We did a great job against Wisconsin, possession, possessing the puck, not panicking with it, spent a lot more time in the offensive zone because we were the better team last Saturday night. We sent the message early. From the minute that puck dropped, Wisconsin knew they were in for a dog fight. Let's make sure this team knows they're in for a dog fight from the minute the puck drops, and let's not let up for 60 minutes. Let's be ready to go, huh? There you go, boys, there you go! Yeah, here we go, guys. Yeah, here we go, Hoss. Right, no. Yeah. With three minutes left in the scoreless first period, Coach Quinn doesn't like what he's been seeing and decides to let the team know about it. Stand up and get over here. Listen, you know, we're playing scared here. You know, don't, you know, be the aggressor. Stop getting punched in the face and punch back. And I don't mean literally. I mean, we've got to stop taking the plate to them. We can't be on our heels and waiting to react. We've got to be the aggressor. Let's throw here. Yeah! Move it. Speed, speed. He had no idea, he just put his glove there. Gotta spend time in the O-Zone, right? Spend time in the O-Zone forward! Relax. Just like any other game. They don't hit as much, so you shouldn't be scared. They're fast, that's it, they don't hit. If you're in trouble with it, put your ass against the board, win a battle, and we'll go. Still clinging to their one to nothing lead halfway through the third, things start to go bad for the Terriers. In front again. In a hurry. Uh, Michigan, it's tied, one one. Okay, here's Gepto. And he's put from behind, maybe a penalty shot. Yes! We keep going here. Oh, you don't need to do anything desperate. Keep playing the right way, it'll happen. That's how you get rewarded. Keep playing the right way. Oh! Tough loss, but also a teachable moment. 
we deserve to beat Wisconsin. We were the better team that night. Then we come here with a lot of guys who, our first road game of the year, a lot of guys that haven't played in this type of environment. And obviously, we don't play a perfect game. We don't play the way we really want to play. And they got to get a penalty shot to win the game. And I couldn't wait to play tonight because it was going to be a learning opportunity for a lot of people in this room. I'd love to win while we're learning. I want to win while we're learning. But the message tonight, and it's been a, a problem for us from, from day one, is we just got to take care of the puck. While there's plenty of time on the ice, road trips are important for teams to come together off the ice. It's a great bonding experience with the guys. I mean, on the bus together, on the plane together, waking up and going to the airport together. I mean, they have a pretty funny team, so people usually say something funny. Oh, All right, I got a joke, everyone. <laughs> oh, God. So a horse walks into a bar. The bartender says, why the long face? <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> oh, man. Cheers, boys. <laughs> I think it brings the team together, they're all getting out of, getting out of Boston. Uh, you know, a long trip, and travel days, and just hanging out in the rooms and stuff. Yeah, yeah for sure. Game two of this trip is a visit to Michigan State. While not as highly ranked as their Wolverine neighbors, the Spartans are still dangerous. Coach Quinn and his staff, the question is, how will the team respond after the loss on Friday night? How we got on, buddy? Oh, I'll start. Ha <laughs> you big <laughs> When we go D to D, this guy's gotta be taking ice. They can't, they can't keep up with us here. We go here to here and stop. We're playing right into their hands, okay? That's yeah. Like I said, we dodged the bullet. We dodged the bullet. We gotta be a lot better this period. We gotta be a lot better this period. After a lackluster first period and holding on to a one to nothing lead, things do not get better for the Terriers. They played like they were 0-3, and a lot was on the line. We played like we were 3-2, and two and we we're going to walk through this team. And we got better as the game went on. I don't know whether, you know, last night's game took a lot out of you emotionally and physically or what. But, you know, I said we've been moving forward. We took a step back this weekend. Hey, this isn't about winning and losing, because I know if we do what we're talking about doing, we'll win. The winning and losing will take care of itself. A difficult loss and a disappointing weekend for Coach Quinn and his young team, but hard lessons have been learned. Lessons that will hopefully pay off down the road.